Hello, this is Steven Jackson with Imprintables Warehouse, MyVersaCam.com, and the GarmentEdge.com. Today I'm going to be going over a couple of the VersaWork settings, specifically looking at our Roland VersaWork spot colors and how we can manage it, how you can identify it in VersaWorks that it actually contains it, and working with those settings. So for today's tutorial, we've got two files that I've already created. I have the, the graphics in Corel Draw. You could be using Adobe Illustrator or whatever other program you might be using. Um, there's several on the market. We've got the graphic created. There is a cut line around it. If I zoom in, I can see that cut line around the edges right there. And we've also got our color set up. And in this one, it originally was a different color than the RVW color there, the Roland VersaWorks color. And I converted the file so it had that Roland VersaWorks color. It has to have both that little spot color icon right there and the Roland VersaWorks nomenclature here, the RVW-whatever color it is that you've picked from your color chart. If it doesn't come through to VersaWorks like that, it won't recognize that color. And I'll, I'll show you two different files, the original one that I had here and then the one after I changed the name to be the Roland VersaWorks color so that you can see how it identifies it and where to tell in VersaWorks if I have that color. Now if I'm exporting this, this is very similar in Illustrator also, but Illustrator would be save as, it's not an export function. I would select all my items in there that I'm going to save or export. I'd control E in Corel or save as in, in Illustrator. And then I'm going to go through my, my different dialog here. The one thing, the reason why I'm bringing this up is to show you, uh, make sure that in this portion of it, when you're exporting or save as, this convert spot colors is not checked. If that was checked, then it would take that, that name of that spot color, that RVW-DP43K that we have there for the color, and it would change it over to a spot color, not, excuse me, not a spot color, but it would change it over to an RGB or CMYK value as I've indicated on the, the checkbox right here. So we don't want to convert those over. We want to leave those as a spot color so that when it comes into VersaWorks it will recognize that spot color and it will, will see it and print it correctly. So I'm going to hit cancel on this one and we'll go over to VersaWorks and we'll add the two jobs. So to add the two jobs the operator in this instance would say file and then add to QA or, B, QA or QB whichever one they decide to however they're working it and they would have a folder that they would default to that they would bring it from. And this one we're going to bring in the first one without the Roland VersaWorks color. We'll add that one. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the other one with the Roland VersaWorks color also. So we've got two different files here. Now let's look at the first one here. Both of them indicate in the special items that it's got a little cut contour, a normal cut there. It's, it's recognizing that that file type is in there and it's got the cut line, so we're happy with that. Uh, but it doesn't show any difference between the two if it's got that Roland VersaWorks color and that it's going to print properly. So when we open up the first one, I can go to settings of it right here. And I'll click on the settings and we'll go into the job. I've got my job right here. I've got my media width. I could get media width. Now this is dependent upon your machine, how wide it is. This uh, particular machine I have set up here is a VP540, but I'm going to leave it at 22 inches there. Um, I've set up the queue so that it automatically brings in the color management and the media type that I want and that's a default setting in the queue that's applied when the job is brought into VersaWorks. So we see it came up with solutions opaque and the VP is the model that I'm using. Color management was pre-press US. Um, color management won't affect a Roland VersaWorks spot color if it finds it in there. But as we can see if I'll go down to file format I've got convert spot colors which we want checked here not when we're exporting it or saving it in our graphics program, but here we want it to recognize that roll and spot color and be able to convert it over so that it maintains the color and prints it out accurately for us so that we can match up with our chart exactly. But you can see that is checked, um, although there's nothing listed down here. It didn't recognize that it had any roll and verse works colors, which it wouldn't because when the original file it didn't have that RVW nomenclature. So let's get out of this file. We'll hit cancel there. And then we'll go down to the one that had the Roland VersaWorks color where I picked it from the chart, I saved that specific color, and I brought it over. Now when the operator of the printer opens this up in VersaWorks, and they'll double click on that or they could have done settings, 
We'll come in and we can see you know, we've got our media width already input in there. Everything should be set up for them predetermined if, if they've set it up in the queue or they could go through and get media width and set all the settings for, for that. The quality, the media type, was the solutions opaque, and color management pre-pressed. Remember you can change all these but for the general operator if we set it up so that the operator is literally bringing the file in, I've applied all my queue settings how I want it, they should be able to just bring it in here make sure that it fits properly and take a look right here under file format and now because it recognized that RVWDP43K color and convert spot colors was there I have that spot color and it's going to print it exactly like it is on the chart so again we have to have that nomenclature the same it has to have that RVW uh, beginning to it and the, the correct number and lettering configuration according to the chart so I don't have to do anything with that it's already set up so then the operator can go down to printer controls, uh, can choose, make sure defaults are set all the way down or however else that you've got it set up. And then cut controls, a lot of times I like to double check this one. I know it said that it had that normal cut in there, but especially on this one, it's kind of hard to see the, the little marching ants or dancing ants as some people call it around the edge because the red kind of clouds it out. I can use this drop down menu here to hit cut, cut only and I can see where my cut lines are. And even on this, it looks like it doesn't quite have everything there, so I could do a quick check and I could zoom in on there and see if all my cut lines are. And it looks like I'm missing the inside of an O right here and the inside of an R. So I might want to go back and check my graphics to see if that is actually missing from there or something didn't show up correctly. So doing this cut only on this one could have saved me from running the job and then not having the cut lines there and wasting a whole bunch of material. So we'll go back to print and cut and the whole graphic is back there and then the, the operator would simply hit OK it will apply all those settings and they would be able to print so again we would go back to our original file take a look and see if those cut lines are there or if we've missed them and then if I don't see that rolling spot color and I'm trying to have that spot color come in there if I don't see it I'll bring it up again if I don't see it right in here under file format and it's not listed it's not going to print and if it's listed here and I haven't checked the convert spot colors again it won't print it'll convert it over to a CMYK value and it won't print exactly like the chart so it's very important when exporting or save in we're not going to convert those spot colors when we have it in VersaWorks we do want to convert those spot colors so real quick uh, tutorial covering some of the spot color management and a few of the VersaWorks settings hopefully it's been helpful for you again I'm Steven Jackson with Imprintables Warehouse come and visit us on myversacam.com or you can visit my blog at thegarmentedge.com. Thanks and hope to hear see you here again.